Hello YouTube, this is The Bucket coming at you today with a range report on the Zostava EZ9. This is a double action, single action firearm on an aluminum alloy frame with a hammer forged steel barrel, steel slide, three dot white sights, 15 plus one on the mag capacity. This is a sweet decocker model and we took this puppy to the range today and i'm going to be honest with you i was a little bit nervous to go out with it today because this double action trigger is long and it stacks a little bit and so i was a little nervous so i loaded her up with five rounds went ahead and slammed that decocker down and wouldn't you know it rang the steel on that double action uh, i was not shooting particularly great today uh, some days you're the cat and some days you're the litter box and I was a little bit closer to the litter box today than I was to the cat uh, so I wasn't shooting my very best shots today <clears throat> when I went ahead and took a, my target out at 10 yards I ended up having three within a three inch and we're gonna call that within a fourth inch uh, not the best target in the world but for the first time ever firing this gun I am a-okay with what I did there, that is gonna go in the file for how I shoot an EZ. Now this Serbian uh, pistol um, is about as close a copy to a SIG 226 as you can get. It does have ambi controls, which means that uh, some of the holsters for the SIG P226 may not work with this particular firearm. So you ask yourself, why would you purchase the EZ-9. Well, I would say to you, if you are the type of person that likes likes to have an all-metal gun and you do not want to spend the $900 it's going to cost you to get a 226 new or spend $700 what it probably take you to get you a 226 on the used market in good condition you know these guns come in at that 4 450 range um and uh if this this might be a really good option for you um, to be able to possess an all metal double action single action gun and you, you know you might that might be really good for you um, I will tell you that these white um, sights were a little bit hard to pick up so you might want to put a little bit of that UG 11 on that front sight uh, if you're going to uh, shoot this on a regular basis uh, once again, I was really impressed with what Zazdava had to offer today. This gun had no jams, no failures to feed, no stove piping, nothing. This thing just ran like a champ. Um, so if you get an opportunity to shoot one of these firearms, take, you, take them up on it. Again, you could pick up a CZ99 that won't have the rail or the CZ999 that won't have the rail as well. Everything else about it is ostensibly going to be the same. So if you see any one of these three firearms and it, it looks like a price that you can afford, uh, you would not be doing yourself any disservice whatsoever uh, to pick this firearm up. Um, if you like what I had to say today, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, comments are always appreciated. And if you wanted to share this with a friend or family member, that would be awesome as well. Once again, this is The Bucket signing off and reminding you guys, stay classy, YouTube. I learned a lesson. Never half-ass two things. Whole-ass one thing. <laughs>